Baby Easton is too young to say, I love you yet, but his heart has already made history. Easton had open heart surgery at just five days old because he was born with a condition that left him with only one half of a functioning heart. We actually had the conversation of he was put here for a reason, and that reason we don't know. Maybe he was here to be a donor for another child. We, we were having that conversation, you know. Easton survived a cardiac arrest and another difficult heart surgery before he was placed on the transplant list. The baby also had a damaged thymus, making his condition even more serious. Easton's doctor explains. The thymus is part of your immune system and it makes T cells that T cells can be good, they fight infection, but they can also be bad in the sense that they, they will reject an organ. It took 112 days on the transplant list before a donor heart was available for Easton. Researchers at Duke University got FDA authorization to perform a first-of-its-kind surgery on Easton, transplanting both a heart and tissue from the donor's thymus. Doctors hope by doing both, Easton will not have to go on harsh anti-rejection medication that most organ recipients take, extending his transplanted heart from being useful for 10 to 15 years, potentially up to 40 years. This could apply to any organ any solid organ transplant that we do. Easton surgery took place in August 2021, and since then, his family says he's getting stronger each day. When we first brought him home in September, he couldn't hold his head up, he couldn't sit up on his own, and now he's dancing in his chair and walking around the house in his walker, chasing his sister. As Easton creates his own history, taking his first steps and saying his first words, he and his team of doctors have already made medical history. This is Inside Edition Digital.